So we're looking for a good street to use as a plate where all the cars are gonna be. And this is gonna be our first main step because from this plate, we're actually gonna understand what kind of lighting we need to do, what kind of camera height and perspective we're looking from. Everything will be built on top of this. So the plan for today is flipping some miniature cop cars on the green screen, jumping into After Effects, making it look a little bit less toyish, and then hopefully as a bonus, get also a sequence where my friend Genesis was on her way right now. So we're gonna have a little bit of an intro or a little backstory to kind of piece the effect together. So let's go do that. So as far as the lighting, the main thing is keeping that green screen in the back soft so that we don't have any hot spots or anything like that. We want to have an overall ambience from the sky since it's day, as well as a more hard and direct source of a slightly warmer light since that is the main direction of the sun that we're going to be having. And then as a bonus, at the very end of the video, I'm also going to light these cars on fire. Oh shit, no, you cannot do that. Like, are you kidding? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wet it down. It, Chris, it will turn on. And no. the entire thing, it's paper. It will yeah. consume quickly. No, Chris. <clears throat> so we'll see. But for now, let's focus on the movement of the car, the actual flipping. And for that, I'm going to use this roller and a spatula. It worked out great for this flipping motion. And I'm just going to basically set it down uh, below the car and try to get it to flip in the air. And this movement is going to help us a lot when it comes to making this realistic. So now that the idea works, uh, we're gonna actually shoot it with the red and we're gonna over crank it. So we're gonna actually shoot in slow motion. And this is kind of to add a little bit of extra weight and size to this otherwise small and toy car. And then it was just a matter of flipping and flipping again and flipping again until you get the motion right. And some say he's still there flipping that car to this day. So now we have our plate, we have our elements. Now it's time to jump into After Effects and piece all of this together, along with some really cool effects from Action VFX. We're gonna be using this to create all the debris, all the extra interaction with the ground and the shattering and all of that. And there's actually a sale that they have going on right now, and I'm gonna share more about that later. It is definitely a good deal you don't wanna miss on because these effects were really some of the key ingredients in making this shot work. So let's start from the very beginning and let's deconstruct how to create this effect. So the first steps once we get our clips into After Effects is getting the portion of our flip and getting a key. Now this is not going to be enough because unless you have a perfect green screen, you're going to have a lot of additional work that you do past your first key. So to show you what I mean, I'm actually going to show you a finished version of a car where I did a little bit of keying in one layer. Then you can see in another layer, I actually deactivated the keying and went with the rotor brush tool. And then I added a top layer to kind of fill in any other gap. Now, part of the tricky thing with this key is also it has a shadow. So what I did for this is I left the green screen unkeyed and I actually just desaturated so that we can just grab this area. Now that we've done that, we can bring in the plate that we shot earlier. We can pre-compose it since it is a different size due to the reframing that we're doing because we want to match the perspective as close as possible. And then once we pre-compose it, we can 3D camera track it. Once it analyzed and solved the camera, I can hover over my scene and you're gonna see all these tracking dots. And I'm basically gonna select an area and then from there, I'm gonna right click and create a solid and a camera from this tracking data. This is gonna allow me to bring in the previous composition that I had with just the car, turn it into a 3D layer, and then grab the position coordinates of that solid that we created from our tracking data and paste them onto the composition of the car. And this is gonna place our 3D object of the car exactly where that solid in our track was. So since we have a shadow layer in this pre-comp, I want to grab it and actually copy it and paste it into my main composition so that I can isolate just the shadow and basically set it to overlay and add some color correction to fit the other shadows in the scene. And that is going to sell that ground interaction a lot more with the vehicles. So basically, you're going to repeat this process from the clean plate, from the tracking data. You're going to keep selecting areas and points where you want to add things, creating solids just to have a point of reference, grabbing their position information and paste it onto whatever element or asset you're bringing into that specific area. 
And so now we can start bringing in assets as you've been seeing, debris and glass shattering. A few effects that are gonna come in really handy for this. One is CC Force Motion Blur. This is gonna add some motion blur back into elements that might've been shot without motion blur. Maybe they were slow-mo elements. And then another thing to help integrate these effects into the scene is color correcting them to match as far as what your highlights are and what your shadows are in your scene. Even if done in a very basic way with like curves or even the tint effect, can really help amalgamate all the assets together so they really feel like they belong in that world. Now, you may be wondering where I'm getting these assets from, the debris, the dust, all this stuff is from Action VFX, the sponsor of this video. And guys, these assets were literally the backbone to this effect. And they're having a sale right now, so definitely take advantage. It's gonna last for only one week and all of their store is gonna be 50% off. So definitely check them out. I've followed them since the very beginning, the early blog post, the Kickstarter campaign. These guys really put their heart into what they're doing and it shows in the quality of their work, of their library. All their assets are super top notch and just a lot of fun to play with as you saw in this example. So definitely check out the website, check out their sale, take advantage of their sale because you're definitely gonna enjoy using them. And these effects were designed for VFX. So take these ground cracks, for example, they're very easy to composite in. Just drag them in and set them to overlay and then just add some minor color correcting with some curves to match the ground that you're overlaying these on. And that's it. So that's a lot of flexibility. And you can see that with just some very basic tracking and some rotoscoping, we pulled off this very simple shot. Let me see this uh, bank robber outfit. <laughs> with the ski mask, the fake ski mask. Bobby. <laughs> So now the best part I think of an effect is wrapping it into a story. That also adds a little bit of realism since it's grounding it into a narrative, into a style, and you're not just jumping in head first with just that one VFX shot. Yeah, sick. <laughs> So we wanted to shoot a cool little skit that would um, motivate sort of these effects. And now of course it was a little rough, a little rushed, but it's still fun to just uh, get together with some friends and improvise and shoot something like this. It's good practice and I think it helps the effect. So we literally spent a couple hours shooting this and then I just had two days to basically turn around the edit, the effects and uh, everything else. So it could be a lot better. Of course, there's room for improvement, but the main thing is just the technique and the ideas and experimenting. This was part of a even more rough experiment that I did a while back with just a vlog camera and some of the same ideas. And so as a filmmaker, it's nice to innovate, but it's also nice to revisit and continue improving certain skills, certain experiments. Bottom line is just do what you find fun. And this was actually a ton of fun for me to make. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with a friend. It actually helps out the channel a lot. And if you wanna check out the sale, definitely don't miss out on that once again. And as you saw in this video, they've helped me a ton to actually be able to achieve this final effect. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Chris Trini for Chris Gar, and I'll see you next time. Took the cash and burnt it Didn't want a reputation of chasing what's on the surface line The things that I find would never satisfy me in the long time And all the dreams I dreamt they will never come alive Do you really turn it on on fire? Yeah <laughs>